In this tutorial, we will see a quick trick using refill in your composite for better results. For this composite, we want to keep the girl in focus and blur the background to add some depth to this shot. Since the original shot is all the same focus, we need to separate the foreground from the background in order to create this look. Since the foreground and background were not shot separately, we will make a mat to cut the girl out, which will either leave a black hole or a copy of her on the background. We will see that both of these scenarios present a problem. We will also see an alternate method using refill to fill that background hole with relevant pixels and give us the best result. Let's see how. First, we can look at the original footage. We will add SK Gaussian, which is our Gaussian blur, to the whole shot. You can use any Gaussian blur for this. We can make that 10 pixels in this case. We've already made a map for the girl, and that is here on layer 1. If we go to 3, you can see how it would look if we simply composite the foreground, which is in focus, over the blurry background. You can see that there's a halo around the edge because we're blurring in the values of the foreground. Okay, we don't like the way that looks. Now let's see another scenario. In this comp, 5.2, we can see another common way to do this. In this example, we would fill the hole with black using the mat. Then we add the blur and add the girl back in. Again, we see the halo, this time even worse since it's black and we now have introduced transparency into the mat. This is not a good look either. So now let's see how Refill Area Fill can fix this composite by filling the hole with neighboring pixels and eliminating the halo effect altogether. First, we can fix the mat. In this next comp, we can grow the mat a little so there is no difference between the mat and the background. Let me explain what I mean. If we go to 5.1 and look at the alpha channel, you can see that the mat and the background don't completely match up. There's a little line around the edge that shows where the two mats don't meet up. We need the foreground mat to be a little bigger because we're using this mat to fill the hole and this will keep the hair and skin color from contaminating the background, which is causing that halo. We're going to go back to comp 4 and see how to fix that. We just add refill choke. We will make the value minus 3, so instead of choking the mat, we're growing or expanding the mat by 3 pixels. If I turn this on and off, you can see the difference. The output logic is either result, before choking, or the difference. The difference is the difference between the result alpha and the original alpha. This would be good if you just wanted an outline. We can leave it on result. Now we're ready to fill the hole in the background. We just added refill area fill to our comp. We can make the fill process mode filled. We can make the holes source channel red. We will make the holes alt source layer 2, which is the matte layer after we expanded it. We uncheck the invert holes box. In this case, we will use the fill method blended neighborhood, which is essentially the equivalent of a Gaussian blur that's as large as your hole. Now we can look at comp 6, which combines the shot of the girl back over the new blurred background with the filled hole. I can toggle the girl on and off, and you can see that the halo is gone. If you want to feather the edge of the foreground shot a little without flattening the existing white values, you can add Refill Grow Shrink to the foreground layer, and in this case, I'm going to add a 5 pixel feather to the edge. Now you can see how that looks if I toggle it on and off. And now I'm happy with the result. One last thing, if you happen to get material created by other means already in this state that doesn't have a full alpha, you can try using Refill Alpha for help to fix the alpha. We can see that the alpha isn't full and see how that affects the RGB. Now we can see with Refill Alpha being used. If you want to blur the edge of the foreground, you can just refer back to the step where we blurred the edge a little for a softer blend with the background in the last example. So this is how you can use some of the refill plugins for better composites.